So motivation is one of those things that we seem to lack and we always get in this mood, right? Like we'll start something, you know, we'll go out and buy whatever it is that we want to, we feel motivated about, right? Maybe you're trying to go to the gym. So you buy new clothes, you buy the new gym membership, you are ready to rock and roll. And then for whatever reason, you know, a month down the road, you just, you start falling off, right? You start not going as much, you start tapering off and you get to a point to where you just stop going at one point, right? Now, why do we do this? And this is more than just, you know, trying to get healthy. This is just anything, right? If you're possibly trying to, you know, start a YouTube channel or you're trying to, you know, start some kind of business or write a book, you know, that motivation can be hard to find. And I myself, you know, I get in spurts where I lose motivation, right? Motivation is something that I think a lot of people you know, think like you hit the switch and all of a sudden you're like, man, you know, I am just so motivated. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go knock out all these projects one after the other. And that's just the way it's gonna be, right? And you can typically feel this way, right? When you go to like seminars or you do any kind of, you know, motivational things, you see that people seem to be this way. They're, they're presented this way, right? But the thing is, is motivation itself is something that is temporary, right? It's just like you can go watch a motivational video or go to a seminar and at that point, right, as soon as you exit that seminar or after you finish that video, you feel motivated, right? You feel motivated to go get healthy, you feel motivated to start that book or start a business, right? But how do you continue that, right? Why are you always failing? And I think one of the biggest things is, is a lot of times we don't, you know, control those times in which, you know, we are very unmotivated because those times do happen quite frequently. And during those times, right, especially like, you know, an example would be in health, right? If you are, you know, going to the gym consistently and all of a sudden, you know, you have a bad day and it could be really something simple, right? Maybe you wake up late and then, you know, that just ruins your whole day. So you're like, well, you know what? I'm just gonna eat whatever I want. I'm not gonna go to the gym today. And I'm just gonna fall back into my old routine, right? And this is where it can get really sticky. And this is where you can start losing all motivation because you're like, I've just had a bad day and I just, I, I don't care. I just wanna lock myself away, watch some TV and relax, right? When those are actually the days you actually want to push through, right? You wanna keep your routine going because this is what's hard, right? Your motivation, again, only lasts for so long. Motivation is not gonna continue to live that lifestyle. And even for myself, right, motivation comes and goes and I have to grind through a lot of it, right? There's a lot of times you have to grind through it just to make sure it's done, right? But it ultimately comes down to deciding before you even get started, right? You can't go into it thinking that whatever you're going to be doing is just gonna, you know, take me, you know, a month and I'll get there. Take me six months at most. At most, it'll take me six months and I will get there, right? And this is like the worst thing you can do, right? Because you are setting yourself up for failure. And the best thing you can actually do is to understand it's gonna be a choice, right? You're gonna understand that there's gonna be a lot of grinding to get to where you wanna go. And motivation is only temporary, right? It's only gonna get, it's only gonna light that spark, but it's up to you to keep that flame lit all the way through, right? To live that lifestyle, to live the way that you want to be able to live. And this is what's extremely important, right? Because to think that motivation is just gonna flip a switch and then that you're just gonna be like that way all the time is not the case, right? It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to do a lot of different things that actually, you know, we may want to achieve, right? You find this in a lot of things that you want to achieve, right? It takes a lot of time, energy, and effort, and it's it's more than just a temporary motivation. It's more than just, you know, again, trying to flip a switch or finding, or think you're gonna find a switch that's gonna turn it on and then you'll just have it because this is not the way it's gonna be. It's gonna come down to a choice. Like, really, why are you doing this? What is the reasoning behind it? And this is why, you know, people always ask, you know, you should have a strong why. And you have to just choose. And I found for myself, right, like there are a lot of times when I wanted to get in shape or I wanted to go do something, I 
I got to a point where I was fed up, right? To be honest, that's where I was, right? I was just, I'm fed up. And I find that nothing sticks until I actually make that choice, until I actually get to that point to where I get so frustrated about what's going on in my life and my environment. And I make a choice that, hey, I'm fed up. I'm actually gonna go out and do something and I'm gonna execute this and get this done. And it doesn't matter how long it's gonna be. Don't put expectations about it's supposed to be done in a couple months, a couple, couple, you know, a possible year at most. Don't do that, don't limit it, right? Because you don't know, you don't know for sure, especially if it's something that you've never actually done before. And this is one of the biggest things that I find a lot of people have trouble right because they want to just you know flick that switch and everything is good or hope that there's an easier way to do it but the truth is is there is you can't cut corners right first of all you're not going to appreciate it once you do actually achieve those things you won't appreciate it right because it was just given to you and when stuff is just given to you it doesn't really hold value because you get it and you're excited and you're like yeah i got it and then you're like it's great but Eh, it's okay, right? It's, it just doesn't hold value to you. So this is what's important is that you want to actually stop trying to cut corners, stop trying to think that it's it's gonna be this long, right? You like you, I've noticed like it's one of the things like I've done, like you try to project how long it's gonna be. Okay, well, it's gonna be this long. So I just gotta make it to this point and then I should be good. And then when those that time comes, you find that, hey, I'm not seeing results, like what's going on here? And a lot of times it takes a lot longer than you think it actually is. And so this is where you can't stay motivated, right? Because you're projecting all these different dates and stuff in your head about when stuff is supposed to, you're supposed to start seeing results. And this is really bad. This is, this is why you're gonna lose motivation. And again, why you have to understand that you have to get to a point, really, you really, really have to get to a point. And I wanna hammer this in because this is where it all stems from, right? Is the fact that you have to be fed up with where you're at. You're, it's just gonna click in your head like, you know what? No, I'm not taking this anymore. I'm gonna go out and complete this. I said I was gonna do it and I'm going to do it because that's exactly what it's gonna have to take. You know, you can just say, hey, I'll try it and you know, I'm gonna hope for the best and then you hope for the best, it's just, it's not going to work out. So if you're feeling unmotivated, again, it's something you really have to look deep, right? And a lot of times you have to almost be, I feel like you almost have to be pressured into that situation. And a lot of times when I made these changes, right? When I made that decision, I was, really kind of pressured, right? I pressured myself because I didn't like where I was, right? And I was, at one point in my life, I was working in a truck installation factory and I was tired of it. I was like, I am not choosing to live this way anymore. I'm going to do something about it. And then I ended up going in the military. My life was so, you know, 10 times better than what it was. And then at one point in my life, you know, I, I continued to always struggle with, you know, my weight and everything. And I was like, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm actually going to dedicate myself to finding a way to fix this. And I did it, right? About 10 years ago, I did it. And then I fell back in this whole routine that, you know, I, I got injured and then I started using that as an excuse and just not working out anymore. And then I fell back in those old things, right? And then I gained, you know, I gained so much weight because of that. And it's like anything, right? Like if you continue to let up off on the gas, if you're not dedicated and really, you know, make that decision, right? Like you're fed up with it. I'm not going back. And that's where you have to be. That's where you're going to have to put your mindset at before you start any of these things, because it's always, you're only going to see it temporary. You're only going to see that window that if there are not results, I'm just, I'm just going to throw my hands up. Or perhaps you'll have that bad day, that bad day without where you'll be like, you know what, I'm just going to, you know, go out. I, I woke up late and things at work just went horribly bad. And, you know, X, Y, and Z, just everything's going bad, right? It's just a bad day. And I'm just going to sit at home and I'm going to buy a tub of ice cream and I'm just going to eat it, right? And then after that, then you start, you know, that little, you know, tick in back of your mind is just like, hey, you know, just... Just relax. You, you worked hard enough, right? And then you start falling into those old routines again. 
and then you give it just give up again you push it to the side so when you come to those bad days you still have to grind through and yes there's some days that are really bad and I'm not saying you have to always grind through you know nine out of ten times I would say yes you would have to grind through but some of those days take your day off right take your day off relax but don't get carried away don't allow it to you know damage all the stuff you've done up to that point because a lot of times you know we forget about how much work it took to get to that point right and then when you get to that point it's so easy for us to just be like eh it's okay i'm done and just throw up our hands so just remember this, if you really, really, really want whatever it is that you are trying to chase and you just can't find your motivation, you have to be fed up. You have to choose that you're gonna do whatever it takes to not ever go back to where you are at that moment. So I hope this helps you guys. If it has, remember to hit that like button. Until next time, I will see you guys later.